Hey you guys, just a quick update. This is going to be really, really fast. Um, just want to update you guys on my henna application that I did a couple weeks ago. I used the Rashima Henna in Natural Burgundy. I let that sit for an hour and a half before rinsing it out. It was fairly easy to apply. I didn't make any mess whatsoever. I was very happy about that. And I think it was more so because my hair is short and I have baby locks versus long locks where I'm having to go through the whole lock and it's, you know, resting on me, on my clothes. Um... I didn't get no mess. I was happy about that. It took forever to rinse out, which is something I expected with locks, and I want to make sure everything was out. So I made sure my the run, the water was running clear before I got out the shower. Um, I was very happy with the color afterwards. I had the burgundy, the reddish color. It was nice. However, I'm sorry y'all didn't see that on camera. It was really hard to pick up. On camera, it actually looked like it was black. So, I mean, but it was red. You can see the reddish and or the burgundy in the sun you can see it like if you were if you were to see me in person you'd be able to see it or you would see it in a light bright room um which i wasn't i was happy because i wanted a natural color i didn't want to do something dramatic so that was fun with me um but the bad side of this henna is that a couple weeks later after washing that color just went away so i no longer had that reddish color to it so that was disappointing because I expected it to get a little brighter or stay the same, but instead it just went away. So that's the downside of that henna. Um, the only the looking at, at the good side, my hair was conditioned and my hair was one uniform color. I don't know if you guys can really see it on camera, the before and after, but my tips was a faded brown, and after they were all of one uniform color, which I am very very happy about. So that's it for my henna. Basically, my henna was fairly easy to apply. I left it on for an hour and a half. Um, I could see the color afterwards and a couple days afterwards. But as weeks gone by after my washes, I can no longer see that red color. But my hair is a unifi uniform color. I want to say it's a uniform brown color. But right after the henna, when, on that video of um, when my hair is still wet, it looked black. So honestly, is it black or brown? <laughs> Depending, I guess, if it's wet or dry, but right now, to me, it looks like a dark, dark brown. Would I ever um, do the henna again? I, yes, definitely would do henna again because I've always done henna before on my loose natural hair when I did henna and then I used the indigo to turn it jet black. I love jet black. That color, that's my favorite color when it comes to hair. So I definitely would do it again using that, um, the henna and the indigo to get that black, jet black. Or if I wanted to do something, do a color or whatever, I would try, probably do it again but using a different brand. Because I don't even know if it's that particular brand or if it's just the color of my hair. It was already dark, so it's hard to change it. But if it changed in the beginning, I would expect for that color to stay. But it didn't stay, so I'm going to say that it was the, that particular brand. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely do it again. I have no regrets. I, I'm not against um, any chemical or box dye. I just wanted for my first time dyeing my locks for it to be something natural and for it to be something um, not so dramatic for it to be something that wouldn't leave my hair dry or anything for it to be my health and my hair to stay the same or even or enhance that color or for it to get better uh, or basically something natural and not dramatic like you know what I mean like hopefully that's making sense y'all because I'm having a difficult time talking today Anyways, I just want the color to be natural and for it to nothing happen my hair for my first time dyeing my locks. So that's why I decided to use henna to do that. Um, I will be dyeing my hair, however, with a box color, which you guys will see that soon. Um, but right now, henna, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Henna was great a couple days, then after a couple weeks, Henna was gone. The color was gone, which was very disappointing. I'm over it. Um, I think I got over my fear of dyeing my locks. So that's why I will be dyeing it the color I originally kind of wanted using a box, uh, box dye. So that's really it for my update. Hopefully I wasn't rambling too much and you guys understood. Um, sorry, the camera was not really picking it up after I got it done. And even I went outside to check, try to take pictures or make a video for you guys to see it, and it was not picking up. So, sorry for that. 
um it, like i said you can only see it in the sun or you can see it if it's like i'm in a bright area as far as if i'm under a building if it's a very illuminated area you can see it or if you're in person because i had a friend that recognized that i did change my color but however my husband didn't recognize it so i guess it depends on the person too <laughs> i don't know but it was a natural hint of red or burgundy it wasn't a dramatic color which that's what i wanted that's why i chose to do the henna for several reasons i wanted the natural burgundy and i wanted something that was not going to damage my hair or do anything that would negatively impacted my hair in which i got that i feel like my hair is still good still healthy and i got my natural hint um i just didn't want nothing too dramatic my first time dyeing my hair but now that I feel like I got over dyeing my hair, I'm not going for a dramatic look, but I'm going for something different. You guys will definitely see that in another video, but that's really it for the henna. I would definitely do it again, maybe another color or another brand or something like that. I don't think I did anything wrong as far as application wise because I did follow the directions on the box and in the little insert that came with the henna dye. So I don't think it was me. It's definitely the brand or, yeah, definitely the brand because, like I said, I've seen the color change after I did it and a couple days after, but after weeks and I'm washing it, it seemed like it's gone. So, I definitely think it's that brand, but, you know, I don't regret the experience. It was a good experience for my baby locks and that is it, y'all. I really need a retwist. I was trying to wait um, a month because my one year is next week and so I actually will be retwisting this weekend um but yeah I'm still rambling thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate that um I appreciate the love and the support and y'all subscribing uh thank you so much for that thank you guys for watching this video hopefully it wasn't confusing I wasn't rambling too much or anything hopefully y'all were able to follow along that the henna was okay the first couple of weeks but after it's gone and that was the point of getting that particular natural burgundy henna was to get the color change but it didn't last too long so um, that's okay um, my hair is still healthy and that's the main priority so that is it thank you guys again so much for subscribing and I'll see y'all later bye